G'day and welcome back to our Idealistic Cossacks campaign where we've been declared on by the Coalition which is freaking massive and scary so we're going to peace out as quickly as we can. Now I've taken his uh, offered sort of peace treaty which is 85 war score which means they'd take more than this from us anyway because we'd have no chance of winning and it would drag out for the rest of the game. So we are, I've modified it a bit so we'll give up the Norwegian land because Norway's the war leader and you know, he wants it, fine mostly low worth to us uh, after that I'm giving away as much of South America as we're allowed to um, basically giant chunks although looks like we can actually do a bit more now I wasn't allowed to do before that could save us a bit somewhere else we can keep could we keep Bergen juice? no requires it to be part of the offer yeah so it's the Norwegian stuff that we can't hold on to, but what else we got? We got drop down two. Yeah, South America, I don't really care. Alright, well, after that we'll also do 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 uh send stuff to Brazil and La Plata. Release Trebzond, Khmer and Utsang. Utsang actually works out for us because we can't quarter it anyway. Don't know how I accidentally took that in the uh, Yakan deal. Mustn't have looked at it properly. So yep, we'll release them that we don't care about. Uh, Khmer is annoying. It's about 75 development worth down there. So we'll lose a couple of ducats per month. Trebizond have one big 30 development province that we have to give up. Plus I don't know, whatever the other one's worth. Five or six I think. So maybe ten. Uh, and our overlordship of Magdeburg and Gazakamuk. Magdeburg don't care, can't annex them anyway. Gazakamuk don't particularly care. I mean, the guys help out in wars occasionally, but we can't uh, annex him before the end, I don't think. And of course, Norway crapped on a diplomatic power. So, good. Now, what are we not going to give away to get this a little cheaper for us? Can't even see where that is. All right. Hyson will keep, and Bandar Oriental will keep. I'll accept that. All right, send it right freaking now. Sounds good. All right, so Khmer have come back. So we lost 63% from them. Doesn't seem to add up properly, but sure. I tried to release Champa because we want to get rid of him anyway, but it wouldn't let me. The uh, Norwegians didn't want it. There's Utsang and Gazi, not, yep, Gazi is his own person now. Trebizond's out, so they were worth, yeah, 35 development. So we lost quite a bit, but now we can focus on this war against Milan with our armies coming in. And, I don't know, we don't get to keep the cause on them, do we? No, when you release a nation, you have to give up the cause, which means we just wasted like a thousand freaking admin points down there. Oh well. Tata and Jian. Access from Persia, from Yarkand, from Wu. No. Get rid of that. Truce is with everybody. Except the people we're at war with. Good. Uh, that's not actually correct yet because I've just loaded the game. We need 55,000 more men. They have high liberty desire. That's why we're in a war. Over extension is high. Yes, it is. And we have low maintenance. Alright, so... Let's shift these out of the way. I guess that looks alright. Now, Marienburg. Not really, Poland. Well, Gondwana are free. Our armies are arriving. They need to get their morale back. Then we don't have access unless. Oh, yeah, Poland's got access through Lithuania, so that's good. Ottomans have a mothballed fort. And how is our thing looking? What was I going to look at? Yeah, zero out of five. Fantastic. Um, Austria, we can't get back because it was the other war. Holy crap. Now they won our provinces. <laughs> Whatever. Bengal, spy offense for prestige sounds okay, I guess, but we don't need spy offense anymore, so. Keep our prestige. Truce of Saxony has ended. 
and we need to actually see how many guys we just built out here. So without him, and without him, and without him, they should all go in there. Ah, tax, manpower, how long is this for? It's not too long, so we do the tax for now. Holy crap, how are we losing that much? Oh, we're forcing that now too. Oh yeah, because we just lost a bunch of land, I guess. Um, naval force limit, we're way over. They're not what's costing us the most. We just need to get rid of one of these level threes. I'd say better relations over time doesn't matter anymore since Coalition is quite happy now. So let's get rid of him and get just Diplo Rep guy. We just have to sack him first. Save the money and then get it back after. What's the siege of Marienburg? Well, allegedly. I'm going to send them. size stacks. Okay. So, all we need to do is push on to Poland, grab a giant chunk of them. We have one, two, three, four, five leaders in charge. We are making a lot of military points while this guy is alive, but he's about to die. Four out of three, let's just go... Spend another point. 6-3 with one siege. Happy with that. He gets to go in here. Hurricane. Alright, so we need to go to Poland, not to Lithuania. This guy go to Bender. Just generally push them in, I guess. They're gonna have to watch out for armies. Here. They look reasonable. One of them's going a stupid way to get there. No idea why he's doing it. Just track him down. See this one. No. No, who was it then? How are they going up that way to get over there? Alright, whatever. Let's send them off. Poland have. Almost the largest army. Hey, we can actually see. We can see the whole world now. I wonder why that happened. Was that like that at the start of the video? It means we can take a look around. Austria took care of France by Lutz. Forced him to release Foy and then Foy attacked France while they were weak. And Foy has taken Normandy, Jesus. Lyon's actually expanded from where they start. Um, Galicia was out before, we saw that. Aragon must have been released afterwards. I've never seen an AI Austria this big. And he's got this freaking area too. Serbia and Bosnia. Milan has become Venice. The Pope. Austria's down in freaking Cyprus. Jesus. Okay. Might be time to do an Empire game in Cossacks. See how much has actually changed. This looks like it's changed the dynamics in there a bit. We will lose military power and army tradition. Over 60. Still barely making money, which is fine. Not paying for the fleet. Magdeburg have pieced out quite happily since they were pulled into the war. Mongyang just got freed. Uh, we don't have any other armies, do we? in this way. What's this guy doing? Oh, he's still arriving. Well, he should go somewhere useful. Straight through the middle. You have to watch out for the guys without generals. Wow, actually, let's group these guys together on some big stacks. 
since we can't do anything about the attrition. <laughs> What's that, 100 months? Which one? Seriously. Which one's his gold mine? His Sibis. Uh, wow. He has siege, he's going there. This guy does not to bind him. Make the rear guard. What do you mean you actually need one of these? Twelve. Oh, it's only level four. Ooh, lucky Thor is coming to war with us. No. Ottomans, Ottoman Australia and Kiva. Saxony have honored with Poland. I didn't think Poland would be stupid enough to attack them. Lorraine have been full annexed by Austria. So this is yeah, Ottoman Polish Imperialist War. What are they trying to take? So I'm not going to give it to them. They cores out here, but none of it's on this. So they just want to take the stuff we've already started seeking down. And there's his army. This is where you take Lublin and send it out. Crazy awesome guys in to kick his ass. Smash it. That's true, it's now since rival. Just as we absolutely crush that army. Alright, he's going to Lublin. Don't want them sneaking past and through there and over to our lands, so we'll. Keep your guy up here to keep an eye out for them. Leadless. Yeah, how much of the Polish army was that? That was their entire army. I'd love to go grab Fwa. Hmm. Don't know what we're actually aiming for in this one. Lost Lauenberg. Oh, I accidentally kept a fort there. Okay. He'll be able to get over this Shellen because we have no fleet here. And let's move this guy up. Now, what are we looking at in tech? I don't think there's anything else particularly useful until 27. We're going to lead a lot of points for what we want to do to Poland and Foi and then Milan. You have to be careful. Milan's not in there, so boy. No tariffs. I guess we'll tell them off for what they're trying to do. And no, we're not giving anyone access. Denmark still exists. That's right, we're about to go to war with Norway and Denmark, but Norway declared on us. This is Zinkto, we go to Varmia. We had another fort there, oh, Jesus. If we deleted them, this would have been a lot faster to get them back. Uh, Novi Sax is here. I'd love to grab that. Oh. Keep bouncing around, killing small armies. Let's go over that one. And he has no leader. So we'll just sit him on our own fort. Just taken Zemplin. We'll, we'll split. That'll be perfectly safe. Portugal want to get through our lands. No. When all you bastards declare a coalition war, you don't get to ask for favours anymore. Alright. Would this help us? Not really. Production efficiency is the only thing we need for the achievement. Development costs could actually be good as well. Mercenary maintenance, we are spending a little on mercenaries. And, yeah. What else is in their interest? Uh, they're all pretty crap. We are making, uh, making heaps of profit now. Because uh, we got rid of the guy. So let's pull in a Diplo rep guy. And yep, we'll do it for now. So, you head over there. 
these guys can move forward now. He's got two siege, he's going to go straight to the fort. These guys will meet up in Ursa Kushvar. We've got Sapis. Good. And yeah, we've lost another 30,000 men without even really doing any fights, just the attrition we're suffering during all these sieges. And the Ottoman army is coming through, so we've got to make sure we get people on all these forts. See, Poland's holding that. Let's just go sit on the clock. Which means this guy then could come up and sit on ours. Alright, pretty much done. Between them. We head around that later. Alright, Arsikushva, go to Sirats. 4% war score, but against Poland it's going to be horrendous for them. That's right, the Ottomans have to go through Lithuania. Rock love. Alright, we need to start looking at it, so we see a piece of them. We've only got 40% somehow. It's weird. And what do we want to take? Well, can't do anything down there. Oh, he's got mm, Gotland. Hmm. Well, let's take a look at trade. That is not important. Brandenburg and Pomerania have all the stuff that is important. So, if we just take stuff that's next to us that we can core immediately. So, Leszica goes through Kelmet. That would be more than we could handle because we didn't co-belligerize him. How about without that one? Yeah, we're going to have to... I mean, we've got time for a couple of wars, so we're really going to have to be careful about the aggressive expansion. Poland and Lithuania. Please stick it further over that way. How much was no-tech worth? Jesus. What is no-tech? 27. Hmm. And it's a... Good solid ducket as well. And our guys have gone back up again. Okay, one more saw. Do have any. Yeah, none of them look free. Alright. Um, no, can't go anywhere. So we should start trying to push through to Milan. Austria gives us access, so let's go sit on Zagreb and let's just sit on that fort. He does have siege. And we'll ignore that and just bring these guys down to pre order. Have to watch out for the Milanese army. And the Fwazi army is probably going to be nearby as well. Hmm. Alright, so yeah, I was looking at provinces. You are... Come on. 27, 28, 24. Duck it. Quarter, duck and a half, duck it in a bit. This one's better value. These ones are crap. So, when we sue for peace, we don't want these two. We do want Varmia. It makes a huge difference to the aggressive expansion. I think we want to take these three provinces. Duck at 40 and a duck at 25. 
should be okay. So we just need to be able to get it. What is their capital? I can't remember. Oh, how embarrassing. What is it? Warsaw, of course. I've already got it. Okay. Now we've got two three-star generals and a two-star general heading over this way. Our guy is Newt. Newt is non-siege. He's going to die soon. He's like 73 years old and he's leading the battles. We have one block. Block, block, block. Alright, go down there. Dali. I have to play at freedom. How the hell did they do that? We don't have any... We didn't have any rebels. How did they declare freedom? Well, that was a load of crap, but... Whatever. The king is crowned. We've finally abolished the corrupt republic and changed our system of government to an absolute monarchy. Long live the king. Emperor Ptolemon Alvali, who is crap. <laughs> It's worse than the guys we're electing. Which means we start getting stability drops. Eesh. At least this guy's old. Idealist noble succeeds to the throne. Alright, well, on that note, I'm going to take a short break. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I hope to see you again soon. See you later.